Hey everybody, Zeus Laser here. I just got done talking with my buddies Dambert and Mariz, which I probably butchered their names, about a question I got from a subscriber. Is Stone Skin worth it as a tank? And the reason they are not facing each other is because they are mad about their conflicting views on Stone Skin as a tank. So I walked over to this guy who is always hitting the dummy. I have never seen somebody work so hard on perfecting the rotation because he is always here night or day and I, I truly don't even think he even eats. Um, but I figured he'd have a good insight on is stone skin worth it as a tank and we both agreed yes it is. First things first, how to get stone skin and what does it do? Stone skin is an ability obtained by having a level 34 conjurer. Stone skin creates a barrier around a target that prevents physical damage totaling 10% of a target's maximum HP. It is important at the start to recognize two things. Stone skin does need to be casted, but does not put your MP in a detrimental range as a tank. So as a tank, you might think, shouldn't the healers be casting stone skin on me during the fights? And the answer to that is no. The reason that is no is because based on four different healers that I talked to that are clearing turn one through four and have some extensive experience with turn five, they all agreed that stone skin is not an effective means of healing output versus providing damage reduction for the amount of mana required to cast stone skin. The use of stone skin as a healer is mainly at the start of a fight or circumstance specific to prevent large amounts of damage. The white mage's stone skin is greater than a scholar's providing 18% shield as opposed to the static 10% that we can cast as tanks. So how do you use stone skin effectively. Effective use of stone skin would be during transition phases, for example, Titan, various times in the fight he jumps in the air and you are not attacking him. This would be a perfect time to cast stone skin and help prevent damage while your healers top the raid off during the heavy damage the raid takes when he lands. Another example of this could be coil turn 4, phase 1 going into 2, after the bugs die, you do have enough time to cast stone skin waiting for the adds to spawn. And the adds hit very hard, and as your healers do have to be fairly mobile in that fight, it is potentially less hard cast than they need to cast. Another effective use of stone skin is as an off tank. During times when you are just assisting in DPS and waiting your turn to either grab the adds or the boss, and you are clear of having to interrupt something. So an important thing to note as tanks get more gear with higher HP pools, and as we are moving into new content coming out, there may very well be bosses that do allow downtime for stone skin to be casted, and the stone skins will gradually increase as your HP increases with new gear. And stone skin is very situational as a tank, and should never be over relied on or used to replace a cooldown when taking a lot of damage. Stone skin should never be casted when actually tanking a boss. It stops you from attacking the boss and producing threat and leaves you unable to move. So if you were to cast stone skin, you are susceptible to having to cancel the cast from a, moving from a boss abilities. And worst case scenario, you try to get a stone skin and either miss an interrupt or stand in something that will kill you. So what do we take from this? Yes, stone skin, when used right, is effective as a tank. But at this time in Final Fantasy, is it make or break? No. But we don't know what the future holds for us in content, so I do recommend to start leveling your Conjurer. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for your question. It was a great topic. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need me to elaborate on this topic even more, comment in the section below. And as always, like and subscribe. I will see you all next time.